ChatGPT5 is a huge deal and here is why. So GPT-5 is the biggest release since the creation of ChatGPT, which was back in 2022. OpenAI says that GPT-5 is like having a team of PhD experts in your pocket. So in this video, I'll teach you everything you need to know about GPT-5. Now pay attention because GPT-5 is a big deal. Personally, I spent over two years waiting for this model. In the meantime, I interviewed dozens of AI experts, made hundreds of videos about AI and spent thousands of hours with tools like ChatGPT. So if you want to know how to use GPT-5 better than 99% of people, watch until the end. So this is what ChatGPT looks like right now. And in the top left, you can see the three main options, GPT-5, GPT-5 Thinking, and GPT-5 Pro. This one costs $200 a month. So later in the video, I'll show you what this beast of a model can do. But first, let me show you the normal chat GPT with this prompt. Generate a visual book that will showcase the fundamental concepts needed to understand AI and ML. So let's send this. Now, while chat GPT is running, you must understand the automatic router. Chat GPT-5 comes with a built-in model router that automatically decides which model or LLM it should use. For simpler requests, you'll get a quick answer from one of the faster models. For more complex questions, however, ChatGPT will route to more powerful version, such as thinking mode at the top. But there is a major problem with this. OpenAI tries to hide it, but there is only a 32K context window inside of ChatGPT. Now, you might be thinking, okay, David, but why this is a problem? The reason is, GPT-5 can actually take up to 400,000 tokens of context. So OpenAI isn't giving you the full capacity of the model. This is a major problem if you want to paste in books, large PDFs, documents, or if you just want to chat for a long time. Now, luckily, there's a simple solution, and that is using GPT-5 inside of Vectal.ai. Because in Vectal, you can use GPT-5 with the full 400,000 context window. And the best part is, you can try it completely for free. Just go to Vectal.ai and sign up. ChatGPT was running for a few minutes. Now, this is a complete hit to companies like Lovable, Bold, Replit Agent, because you can build full web apps inside of ChatGPT now. This is one of the biggest updates to ChatGPT5 that not many people are talking about, actually. That is our app right here. Look at this, wow, with nice visual examples. So let's see, use the arrows or left to right key to flip between pages. So look at these illustrations, right? Boom. This is all custom coded that GPT-5 created. Wow, this is nice. Look at this, very nice visualizations. Imagine if you had to make a presentation on this topic, how long would it take you to create these graphs and charts? Certainly longer than sending one prompt to chat GPT-5, that's for sure. All right, so now let me go to the top left, click on new chat, and let me show you the full power of chat GPT Pro, the biggest model OpenAI has to offer. So here's the prompt I prepared. Build a full stack web app in Canvas that shows multiple 3D geometric objects with several sliders, allowing you to change the quantity and scale of those objects. So this is not just a simple book. This will be an interactive 3D web app that uh, hopefully ChatGPT can make work. We'll see. Now, while it's cooking that up, let's jump into a few pro tips I observed from many, many hours of testing. Number one, you should always try to use GPT-5 thinking and not the default GPT-5, right? The problem is, if we look at this uh, benchmark, which is from artificial analysis, you can see that GPT-5 minimal, thanks to the router, can default to this model, which only performs at 44. This is very bad. So if you select GPT-5 thinking, you'll get the medium model, which performs at 68 on this benchmark, which is close to one of the best in the world. Now, if you paid attention to my first prompt, you noticed it included the words think hard. And this isn't just some prompt engineering trick. This actually directly impacts how often the thinking mode gets triggered in the model router. Also, use the new study mode for learning anything. This is very OP. It's by far the fastest way to learn any new concept. Now, to activate study mode, just click on this plus icon before it prompt and select study and learn. This will turn ChatGPT into being your personal tutor. Oh, and by the way, this plus icon has a bunch of other things, such as agent mode, which allows ChatGPT to control certain websites and do some small actions for you. Deep research, this is very good for photo research on topics. It can browse like 20, 30 different websites and create a detailed report. Now, here are some more pro tips for you. Tell it add to memory when you want ChatGPT to remember something, right? Maybe a city you live in or some style of responding. Whatever you want ChatGPT to remember across multiple conversations, just say add to memory and it will save it. Also, try to use the projects feature on the left sidebar. This is very good for managing different areas of your life because you can set a system prompt for each project. So here inside of ChatGPT, if you click on the sidebar, you can see you have a bunch of projects here and you can just click on new project and give it a name, give it a system prompt. That way you don't have to repeat the same prompts over and over. Also, if you are a pro user, you can toggle the show legacy models in the settings. That way you can access the older models that were removed, right? So right here, if you click on your account and click on settings, you should be able to see show legacy models if you are a paying user. And if you toggle that on in the model selector, you can see all of the previous models that otherwise were removed and you cannot access them. All right, let's check 
GPT-5 Pro, which is still running, that's very impressive. And by the way, if you want unlimited access to chat GPT-5, you have to pay for the $200 a month plan, which personally, I kind of disagree with that. So what we did inside of Vectal, we added unlimited GPT-5 to everyone on Vectal Pro. So while OpenAI is charging you $200 a month to access unlimited GPT-5, inside of Vectal, you get unlimited GPT-5 for 10 times less. Plus, you can also use all the other cutting edge AI models from the other companies. So if you want access to unlimited GPT-5, go to Vectal.ai and sign up. All right, so GPT-5 Pro finally finished running. It only took six minutes, 13 seconds. I mean, this is a powerful model, so it's expected to run for a long time. And it did not end up using Canvas. So that is kind of disappointing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy all of this. Boom, copy. I'm gonna switch to a new chat GPT window. I'm gonna manually trigger Canvas. I'm gonna paste in all of the code and I'm gonna say, visualize this in Canvas for me. Okay, so this uh, wasn't really optimal. It rewrote the code, but let's run it. And there we go. However, it says an error occurred while trying to run 3D multi-object canvas. So while GPT-5 is certainly better than the previous version GPT-4.0, it is still nowhere near AGI. And there are actually much better AI models for coding. So if you want me to make a video on that, showing how GPT-5 compares to Cloud Code, Grok4, or Gemini 2.5 Pro, comment below part two. If I see a lot of comments that say part two, I will make this video comparing GPT-5 to all of the other alternatives specifically for software development. With that being said, thank you guys for watching and I wish you a wonderful, productive week. See ya.